in this video i will be discussing on the various coloring rules that are available in white shark okay so i will take one of the pk file okay so this pk file contains uh, n number of protocols you can see tcp ftp tftp so these coloring rules will help us to differentiate the protocols for example uh, i want to make one color for tcp protocols one color for udp protocols and one color for this source node like that so as per your convenience so in wireshark we have the option to uh, set the colors for a specific type of activity okay here you can see one uh, icon like a drop packets using coloring rules if you click this then automatically uh, the coloring rules which is already up available is applied here if you don't want any coloring rules just you can click next to that again that will it the coloring rules will go so i have already set a few coloring rules so i am just applying those so now we will see how to set the coloring rules so here you can see one view option there you can see coloring rules okay this feature you need to select so you'll get a menu something like this so better i will uh, uh, clear all this so here there is one option known as uh, this one clear all coloring rules at the bottom okay just click on it so all coloring rules will be cleared so now freshly i will uh, apply one coloring rule for example uh, for tcp here you can see a number of tcp protocols so these are all uh, tcp related protocols okay so i want to apply a specific color for all these protocols so what you can do just go to view then go to coloring rules so if you want to add a new color so here there is a plus button you can see now just click on that so here it will ask the name for that so what is the name that is the name we got as tcp okay so what is the filter for time being I have not given any filter tcp itself is my filter so just type tcp okay so the name for that uh, the name is tcp protocol the filter is tcp because i have not applied any uh, filter there tcp itself is my filter so here just click on it and you can see here foreground and background so foreground is nothing but the text color background is nothing but back side color so foreground i will take it as some uh, here you have a number of colors also you can choose if you want a still better color so i will take four color as some uh, dark pink and background color that's text color something like a uh, blue okay and then i will type okay here now you see so still the if if i type tcp and click enter so the color is not changed because here i have told uh, don't apply the coloring rules just click on this then coloring rules will be applied see here now now uh, you can see the text color became some pink and background color became for uh, blue that is foreground and background okay so in this way you can just apply the filter and you can change it for example uh, now again i will close the rules uh, tcp dot port so i want to check specific port number like tcp dot port double equal to 80 so i want to display only these uh, uh, packets so these are the number of packets how many we have uh, out of 1483 477 packets are selected so these are all uh, what you call that protocols uh, that are having the tcp port number 80 so the filtering uh, so before watching this video you can watch uh, uh, my previous video that is uh, uh, white shark filters so how to filter all those so if you click on it you can see the tcp port will be compulsory 80 only here you can see okay it may be a source port number or it may be a destination port number so if you want to only destination port number right click here apply as filter so now you can see tcp dot destination port should be 80 so among how many we have 1000 uh, 1669 port, uh, protocols we have so i want to make only these uh, uh, protocols as one color so what you can do just copy this filter again go to view 
uh, then go to coloring rules and add one more. So the name for this is uh, coloring TCP itself. And what is the filter? The filter is TCP dot destination port equal to 80. So now for this, again, you can change the color as per your convenience, like yellow and the background color is uh, some red. Okay. Okay. Now TCP dot port double equal to if you click enter also, you will not get any coloring rules because I have disabled it. Just click on it. Now you can see uh, these are set to yellow and red. So, and if you click only TCP, you will get previous color. This one blue. So like that as per your convenience, you can set uh, the specific uh, color for a specific filter and you can add it. So here you can uh, create any number of uh, uh, rules. Just you can add, give the name of that uh, protocol and uh, name of the filter, and then uh, you can create any number of colors. So here one more I want to show. You can even apply the uh, conversation colors. For example, uh, I want to uh, make a specific color for all the packets which are moving from 253 to 10 and or 10 to 253 means the conversation between those two nodes. What you can do, just right click. Uh, you can see here conversation filter and I want to check all the IPv4 conversations. Okay, these are all the IPv4 conversations. Okay, so I want to make all these protocols as uh, one color. Again, same thing you can do view. Here you can see colorize conversations. So you can make it as color one. So apply the color. You can see all those rules. The conversations will be one color. Here you can see. Or you can here only you can write right click conversation filter. Sorry, color conversation IPv4. I want to make uh, some different color as per color three. So all conversations as red as one color. Background you can check. One. So this also, this conversation if you want, conversation filter. Sorry, conversation color, and then UDP I want. Then all UDP protocols. This color seven. You can see somewhere apply the color. So somewhere it may be happened here. This one. All these are UDP related. So in this way, you can even apply the uh, conversation colors, uh, specific uh, filter packets, all anything else. Okay. So hope so you understood. So in this way, uh, you can set the colors as per your convenience so that uh, uh, easily you can identify uh, what type of packets are meant for what uh, uh, what you call that colors. Okay. Uh, if you don't want uh, these coloring schemes, then you can just uh, click on this icon, then automatically our coloring rules will be disabled. So hope so you understood and you enjoyed the video. Okay, thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos. Bye.